video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Mark Spikes here and welcome to another episode of the Liverpool career mode in FIFA 16. It's honestly been a little bit of time since I've said that, probably because I've been away for a little bit, but I'm coming back into this Liverpool career mode. Apologies for the delay, but hopefully we can absolutely smash it out. We've got a little bit to get left into. We've got a few games that we're going to play today immediately. We're actually going to simulate this game against QPR because we've got some pretty big games coming up. We're out of the transfer window as well now, as you can see, September 11th, so we are pretty much finished. We are absolutely done with transfers, at least for now, until we get to January transfer window. We have a set team and it is a rocking team. Here's how it's going to look until around about January or maybe even still right toward the end of the season. Either way, these are the players. That's the strongest starting level we have. Feguli is unfortunately injured. We've got some recent transfers as well, like Verratti as well. It's just a great looking team. And before I continue on and simulate this game against QPR, I will let you know that as soon as we get 2,025 likes on this video, you're going to get another episode of the 2025 Career Mode Series. So get ready for that. Good luck. And while I do simulate this game against QPR, which we should surely win very comfortably, they did beat Spurs 1-0, and immediately a goal in the first minute with Coutinho. I wanted to discuss the possibility of maybe bringing back Steven Gerrard. It was a thought that, oh, they've, okay, they've gone and equalized, cool. But anyway, there was a thought that I had about potentially bringing him back because it would be very exciting to see Steven Gerrard come back, and I'd love to maybe play a few games with him. So after this, as we're now leading 3-0, or 3-1, I'm actually going to have a look and see if he's going to be available. Verratti, substitute, and Kalu substitute. Running out of time, we cap it off with another goal. It's a hat-trick for Coutinho. Beautiful. Because think about it. I mean, when I was doing a career mode with, I believe, Manchester United back in FIFA 15, and I know I don't want to talk too much about that in a Liverpool career mode, but I brought Ronaldo back. That was great. May not necessarily be the exact same, but uh, Gerrard's a legend, and even though he might not be amazing, I'd love to get him a couple of games. Maybe even get him on a loan if possible. So I'm going to just... Play, develop, Alberta Moreno. Remember, we're going to keep on going with Moreno until he gets to 80. Surely we're going to get close. Surely. We've got a potential five stats that could be going up right now as we simulate. Come on. What do we have? B, D, C, C, and the F. All right. Well, he's actually gone up a fair bit, to be honest. Though, he's getting there. He's nearly there. So let's take a look and see if he's still here. Maybe he might have retired in the first... Oh, he's not... Oh, wow. I'm just trying to double confirm this right now, but Steven... Yeah, he's gone. Oh, man, I missed it. I probably should... Yeah, I thought about doing it in the first, but I don't really know. It was, but he basically, he just went to LA Galaxy, so I thought, oh, I'm not going to get him in the first season, but I might go for it in the second season. But unfortunately, no, he's out of the game. He's gone. He's retired. That's a bit of a shame. That's okay. I think I tried to take a look and see if he had a regen at LA Galaxy. I didn't see anything, so yeah. I would have thought that would have been amazing if he'd gotten a regen already at LA Galaxy. I don't know if that's... Specifically how it works, but either way, that's not the case. Unfortunately, Gerard's not going to be coming here, which is a disappointment, but still. Now I'm going to play uh, CSKA in Moscow, so we'll see how we go in this one. And what is with my entire side having basically yellow cards? My bench, my bloody start, five, four or five of my starting players have yellow cards. Two of my bench players have yellow cards. This is, what the hell? Still going to be playing our strongest team that we have, of course, uh, apart from Fagoli, who's injured, so Williams is going to be the substitute or the replacement. Perfectly fine replacement in my eyes anyway. So there we go. Let's get this game started. Like I said before, it's been a bit of a period of me not being able to play FIFA 16, so I'm going to come into it a little bit rusty. Hopefully not too rusty. Hopefully we get the right result here. We're getting it kicked off anyway. All right, here we go. Let's get right back into this. Come on, FIFA 16, let's go. Oh, that's a bad touch. You just got to turn around. That was more of a pass than it was a touch, and it's almost sort of worked that way. It's a bad... Oh, another bad touch, and Williams could be away here. This could be good. We could start off beautifully here. Stop and turn. Goes around him well. Keeps the run going. Williams is going to go on a tear. He's going to go on a massive tear. He's going to hit the post. And there's an empty net. And Sturridge is going to put it on in the rebound. That's some four minutes in. Just a little over four minutes, maybe. And he's got the first. Williams, they were giving him the space. I mean, he did the fake shot, and they just wouldn't close him down. I couldn't go any further than that. It was a hell of a shot. And then right off the rebound, it's Sturridge who puts it back beautifully. And it... Brilliant camera angle, by the way. How the hell? I'm honestly hurting for Williams that the first effort didn't go in, but still, he's getting the unofficial assist, and we're 1-0 up. Oh, good grab by Alisson. This is his first game, by the way, of course. One thing that I forgot to recap was that we now are, uh, we've lost Mignolet. Mignolet, who was terrific for me, but now we've got to go with Alisson. It's hopefully not going to be too big a deal. I'm surprised Williams couldn't do better there. Oh, he, he makes up for it a little bit there. Coutinho, no. Fuck, no foul. Oh, shit. For fuck's sake, this is, oh, I did not miss this. I did not miss this in my, you know, several days of not playing FIFA, but the fucking shit passes. Sturridge, nice. Oh, I don't like that run by Williams, but thankfully Sturridge kept it going. 
And we go back to Williams. And up the middle again. It's an okay ball. Can he go around? No, he can't. Akinfeev. Or Feb or whatever the fuck his name is. I hate him still. Ready. They're closing us down. The gaps are starting to open up. Moreno runs around. Oh, right up the middle. Nice one. One, two if you can. Firmino to run right around and to shoot. At fucking Akinfeb perfectly. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Nicely worked. And oh my god, all the space. Williams, he's got to go. Slight tackle, poor. You fucking asshole. We were really on there. You've got to give him something. A yellow, a red. I wouldn't argue with the red. 44 yards out. Obviously way too far to have a go. So we're going to cross it. Oh, they're still creeping up. They creep. Why'd you creep up at 44 yards out? Are we really going to score this? I mean, come on. Hey, let's just bend it around. Hope for the best. Not a bad delivery at all. Oh, you are fucking kidding me once again. We even go for the scissor kick, Coutinho. That was such a good delivery. And it's still the fucking magnet that is in Akinfeb. Someone's got to check him after the game. And that is going to be half time. All right. Oh, we should add two. We definitely should have had two. Maybe even three, you would argue. But oh, we've been on top. I'm, I tell you what, I was worried about being rusty. Not even. I've had a really good start. Fuck you, Moreno. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, we're going to let him through. Sly tackle is brilliant by Enkelu. This could be good. I probably would have preferred that you didn't take the touch there, but he's gotten away. And that is a no. Oh, that was a well-timed ball, but another bad pass. And he's just no. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna credit the keeper there. It's a fucking obvious pickup. Good ball. Get on a run. Oh, I know who that is. I've got to be careful. Wary about Moose's pace. Definitely got to be cautious of that. Good ball. Sturridge. Oh, the run is being made. This is brilliant. Go back into storage. This was an excellent run, and it deserves a goal, but Akin Feb is a fucking dickhead. He will not let us have it. Or will he? Bang. Oh, that was, uh, I thought it was better content than what it was. Like, fucking hell. Oh my god, and he's actually on. That is so, oh my fucking god. That is staggering. One awful pass, and it's it. That's it, and it's over. One fucking horrendous pass by Henderson, and that's that. They have now gotten the bullshit goal to get them level. It was a horrendous fucking pass by Henderson. I tried to turn him around there. He didn't want to actually, like, you know, face whoever the fuck he was passing to, Baratti. And then, as soon as we turned it over, I got nowhere near it. And you know it, Ahmed Musa. So there you go then. There's the fucking bullshit. I just knew it would happen. I was waiting for it all fucking game. Because we were, to be honest, we'd had a really good game in terms of a, uh, you know, pretty, like, the game was running smoothly. But you fucking know it. They had to get it. And don't let Ahmed Musa run around like this, please. Come on, they're actually going to get it. Don't let him. Good. Defending. No penalty. Get up. They get it right back. Good tap. No, he's missed. He's missed the tackle. They're going to get a shot off. It's in the net! You've got to be kidding me! First off, I thought, oh, penalty, th penalty there, to be totally honest. But no, it didn't happen. I came running out with Verratti, who missed it. And that little shot, just a little and high enough and starts dipping just perfectly to get under the crossbar. And too high for Alisson. And that's that, 2-1. I don't believe it. That fucking quick. Six minutes. Fucking took six minutes. And this has all come off a fucking shit pass by Jordan Henderson. Because he can't turn the fuck around to face Verratti. And the pass was horrific. I can't believe we were dominating this game. One poor pass, and that's fucking it. And they keep running to the goddamn corner. And that's that. That's the game. That's extraordinary. How they get anything from that? Fucking Jordan Henderson. You just miss that. You just completely fuck up that pass, and that's that. You're done. You got nowhere near it, and there's the goal. I can't believe we have lost this game. That's just ridiculous. That is so bullshit. That is so bullshit. Well then, what a way to come back. I fucking... I thought I was like, I'm taking a bit of a break from FIFA 16, and I know that it can be very, very fucking shit on occasion. And I was like, oh, I've come back and I'm feeling good, feeling strong. We're going to have a really good... No, it's still fucking crap, apparently. I don't believe we've lost that game 2-1. How undeserved. How fucking fake a result. Now we're going to advance and play another game that's three fucking days later, because you know fixtures in this game are bullshit as well. I'm just so annoyed now. I mean, this is, I was in great stead. We started this so well. Five minutes, goal. And then we're going to end it so poorly and I'm going to get shitty for the rest of the game unless we pull out a win against Chelsea. It's those sort of games and those sort of results that make you fucking hate football. Football, fuck's sake, if you're on the other, if you're on the wrong end of it anyway, because I'm telling you, so undeserved that result. There are so many other fucking sports out there where the, the team that deserves to win always fucking wins. Except this one. All the fucking time. So low scoring, it's bullshit. Their keeper was crazy as well. But you know what? Officially, that's the last thing I'm going to say. Uh, that's the last thing I'm going to say. The fucking... This will be the last thing I'm going to say. He had a fucking magnet in him that every ball went to Akinfeb. It was crazy. But now I'm done with that. I want to beat Chelsea. And I want to fucking smash them. I don't want to just get a goal, dominate, not get any goals, and then they get two bullshit fucking stuff right at the end. Fuck that. We're going to smash them. If we're pumping them, we're going to get the fucking scoreboard pressure going. Let's get it going. Come on. I'm throwing out the exact same team, except for Fed Gawley, who's back from injury.
And of course, you know their side looks absolutely crazy. To be honest, they actually haven't made any transfers, or at least nothing that I can see. Uh, no, no, like, absolutely no transfers. I know that one Quadrado is, um, I don't know if he's gone to Juventus on loan or if he's still at Chelsea, but still, it's a good side. Surely a definitely a uh, better team than what we just played against, but I'm fucking telling you, I'm so filthy and so angry. I hope it proves to be motivation and a bit of a kick up the ass when it tries, when it comes to me playing this game because I fucking want to win this thing badly. Oh, side tackle missed. Henderson still going on a mad run right now, and I see this gap up the middle. It's a heck of a ball, and the shot's in as well! Oh, for a bit of a, I don't know how it took a bounce there, but look at that. Sturridge, again, he's played against, oh, he's played for Chelsea. Look at this crazy run by the captain, Henderson, and that's the sort of passing that we want to see. Look at that, it bounces up, and little Sturridge gets something on it. A little, uh, look, it's just a bit of height on it, right in the corner. Courtois can't stop it, and whoa, that was going right at the camera. What a superb finish, and this is fucking hell. How about it? How early did we score that goal? 17 minutes in. 17 minutes, wow. Still, it, it's just the exact same thing. We score early, decently, or pretty early anyway, and you know they're going to come back and get the fucking two goals. Uh, we're not going to let them do that that time. We're going to get more goals here. Tenio, this is going to be tricky. Yeah, that was never going to work. I didn't really fucking know what to do. We're going to get a foul, though. We get lucky. I couldn't cross because nobody was there, and they were really fucking set. But thankfully, we're getting a free kick. Is it too much to ask to try to bend this around? Could it be possible? I think I'm going to do the right thing and pick out a player here, get in a good one. Oh, it's not a bad one, but it's to a completely fucking... Like... Oh, Jesus, how hard is it? Just went to a completely fucking opposite player. No, I do not want to get it to Verratti. Why is he in there? Come on. Get it to Sturridge. Bang on the money there. That was great. And the header was straight at Courtois. Away goes Diego Costa. And fuck, he seems quick. Good punch by Alisson. I thought we were in trouble there. They always deliver the fucking best, most ridiculous cross in those circumstances. But thankfully, this time it's good. And we've timed that well. And now away goes Sturridge. Away he goes. He's just going to have to knock these forward and have a hard hit. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. I just didn't have the time. You never know. I was trying to go for a top. I was trying to go for the top corner. I was trying to get some height on it. I'm chill. I'm not just chill because it's cold in here. I'm chill because we got this. No, get there, Henderson. you got to be quicker. And that's going to be it. All right. Again, maybe not dominating as much as we were against CSKA in Moscow. And that's probably got me even more concerned. We are absolutely probably the better team, I would think. Maybe not absolutely, but we're, I feel like we've been the better team. Chelsea have had their chances. But yeah, so far, we've got the right result. 1-0. We just need to hold and hopefully get one more. Oh, Ivanovic is away. Oh, that's a great save by Alisson. Someone's going to win that header. What another save by Alisson. Unbelievable. I thought we were done. I thought we were over. Alisson, what a freak. Did somebody say save of the season? Oh my goodness, how aren't we 1-1 one, one right now? Good pass. Baratti, I need you to keep the run going. Oh, that is a true... Oh, that was an okay ball. Low cross. If you can get it in. You... Oh, what a fucking save by Courtois. This game has been dominated by the goalkeepers. This is going crazy. Good intercept. Henderson, yes. Come on. Oh, that is all oh, brilliant footwork. And an eye. I, I knew I should have gone over the top. I just, I am so instinctively against LBY all of a sudden. I know that that was the fucking, that's exactly what the EA Sports developers were trying to do with FIFA 16, and it's fucking works. But thankfully, they're not going to stop me. They're not going to stop me. They're not going to stop. Well, bad passing is what's going to stop storage. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. I was about to say, too, that this is exactly the moment, exactly the fucking moment where bloody uh, CSK Moscow scored. Look at this ridiculous cross by Hazard. Look at the fucking awful defending. And it is Matic with an absolute screamer. I don't care how good a game you've been, Azpilicueta. I mean, uh, fuck's sake, Alisson, you've been amazing. But there is nothing you can do about that when your defense lets you down that badly. So fucking poor with the structure. Who was on Matic? Uh, I'd like to... I'd like to think, like, who was on Matic, but Matic is like a fucking CDM. He's not really someone you think about to just creep up forward and score a wonder goal, but you've just surely got to keep your structure, and for the fu and for fuck's sake, please, we are not doing this exact same thing. We're not doing a repeat. Sturridge, come on, control it. Why can I sense that they're going to do it fucking again? I'm still going out for the win. I'm going to feel like this is a goddamn cup final. I do not want to lose this game or fucking draw this game. Sturridge. No, we can't take another touch. They're pushing the back by Espelicueta. There's no foul there, apparently. It's another good cross and a Superman punch by Alisson. Crazy. Hurry up, Milner. Sturridge. Nice ball. Oh, this is still alive. It's still alive. Williamson, fresh legs. Fresh legs. Can he get away? Maybe he can't. He's been closed down well. Fuck, he's so slow on the ball. Why does he feel so slow? We're not getting anywhere. 
Nope. Bad pass. That was it. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, we're improving. I guess we're improving. But, oh, I'm just telling you. We didn't exactly... You know what? I don't feel too bad about that result. Only because we weren't dominating in the way that we were in the previous game. But, holy shit. The goal that we conceded again. Fuck's sake. What an absolute brilliant volley. But the fucking marking that led up to it. I just feel for that man. Amazing game. Save of the season. Double effort. And he doesn't get a clean sheet. The poor fucking bloke. I just feel like there's a serious fucking problem. I mean, I don't even know what it is. But in the 75th minute onward, we all just fucking just completely go to shit. I should have scored right in the end there. Right at the, right with fucking Sturridge when he was on, when he was through. But I was setting up, waiting for fucking Fergooli to come alongside and for me to pass her. He was in the space. He was always going to get there. But he was running to the fucking corner flag instead of the goal. I don't know why I was... Don't know the logic. This fucking game right now, I'm just telling you, it's just it's just doing me hard. It's, uh, actually, no, I don't want to say that. That's a bit crazy. No, no, no. I feel like I'm getting fucking really hard done by by this game at the moment. But we're going to simulate, and hopefully, it's going to stop doing me that word. Anyway, what are we going to get? B, D, B, D, and an F. Again, pretty poor. But we're slowly creeping toward 80. One last game that we're going to play. It's another three or four day break. Fucking, there's so many of them. But either way, this game in the Capital One Cup against Norwich is what we are going to be playing the final game of this episode. And then the next episode, we'll start off with a game against Tottenham. And how about that? That's And how about that one? That's also three fucking days later. Honestly, like, for real, I'm about to just, like, tank the Capital One Cup. We've already won it. Like, fuck it. I'll just... Throw a bunch of nuffies out there, play like shit, let them win and just go. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what some of the bigger clubs did because they don't give a fuck. I'm telling you. Like, oh, it's just so many fixtures. And we're always having to worry about, oh, all these goddamn games that we have to worry about. For this game, it's going to be slightly rotated. No, don't worry, I'm not tanking. But anyway, we've got Benteke, Ive and Fergoli up front. Now, Firmino, Tolisso and Henderson. And then in the back, we've got Moreno, Diago, Ilori, Sarko and Klein and Alisson still at the goalkeeper spot because he was amazing in the last game. Holy shit, save the season for sure. Down. I don't think we're ever going to get anything better than that. But if we don't win this game, this is what I like about it as well. Being a cup game and not a replay cup game either, like the fucking FA Cup and that stupid shit. But anyway, if we don't win this game in normal time or if we lose it or whatever, we're go there's going to be a winner. Someone is going to lose and someone is going to win in this game. That's what I fucking like. We are going to win this game. I fucking... Oh, got to get it done. Got to fucking do it. Otherwise, seriously, a loss, a draw. What do you think's coming next? Let's go. It looks like Norwich are playing one of their strongest sides as well, from about as good as my knowledge of the Norwich side goes. But either way, let's get this one underway. Oh, bad pass. Intercept. Ibe, he's still got it somehow. Ibe, going on a crazy run. Ibe's still going. He's burnt two defenders right now. I'm still going. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable I can't believe I didn't finesse it. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. What a run. How did he... Oh, I can't believe I didn't finesse it. That's a messy run. That was up there with... Oh, I don't believe it. I just had a bad fucking time with finessing in the previous game. In Hell, even in the previous two games, I just didn't want to take any risks. I just wanted to power it, but he's missed just glancing the wrong side of the post. Oh, good intercept. And a good pass. And Benteke, can he get past? Oh, it's a foul. And he's... Surely, yeah, it is a foul. Is there going to be a card there? I thought he was the last man. Maybe the second last man. Maybe he got lucky. This right here is 40 yards out. I don't expect much, so this is why I'm going to pass it to Hendo. Or apparently not Hendo. Apparently Moreno. Moreno gets blocked. Hit it down. And, and, oh, that would have been nice. It might still be nice. No, it's a corner. That was crazy how we were getting so much space there. I don't know what that first touch for Feguli was all about, but either way, good cross. And good punch away by I Take a touchdown. There's a foul in there somewhere. And they get the ball back. It's that fucking quick. Apparently it isn't. Apparently it's mine. Let's take this quick again. They jump. Beguli. Another block. A save. A parry. We can't get Moreno there. We're getting so lucky. Oh, that's a good ball. Talisa, just keep on going. Fed it through to Benteke. Oh, yes. 1-0. And the keeper diving the wrong way is the reason, once again, that we get that goal. And again, not exactly early goal. 23 minutes. But again, we're scoring well. What are they? What are these two fucking doing? A beautiful ball by the captain and an even better ball by Tolisso and Benteke. Look, they tried to... They Like, this is the thing. He should have... The defender 
probably shouldn't have tried to have stopped Benteke. Look, he hit it basically straight at the keeper, who thankfully dives before we even hit the ball. That's the only reason. Got very fortunate there. The defender tried to actually body Benteke and get in front. Instead, no. Benteke had all the momentum. Even, even if he really got it clean, he was going to go right by. The defender didn't just go at the ball. He probably should have just run for the ball and cleared it, but no. And now we're up 1-0. And that is going to be half time Once again... I just don't feel safe anymore. We're ending the half 1-0. It's actually scary. I know that 1-0, we, we get the first goal, defend well. We have a brilliant first half and then follow it up with a fucking awful second half or an average second half. Please, not this time. Every fucking game has been... Oh, how has that gone? How have they gotten a goal there? I was just... Wow. I didn't even feel... I don't even know how to say this. I didn't even feel like I was going to concede there. I, I didn't even get, like, nervous or anything. How about this? They whip in the corner. Punched away well by Alisson. Passed in. Bang. You're kidding me, Henderson. Henderson has somehow not fucking... What is he doing, Henderson? It is a brilliant finish by fucking Turner. Though, whoever the fuck he is... But what is Henderson doing? Again, on many occasions, Henderson lets me the fuck down. Yes, come on. Oh, we could be on for a big one here. Yeah, you betcha. Look at this. They're really... I don't know what they're doing with that. Go around. Bang. Yes, there it is. I was cool. I was calm. I was patient with it. And for the first time today, we've scored, mother, we've scored more than one fucking goal. I wasn't going to take that on first time. I, I never would. And look, I didn't have the pace to just burst away there. So I had to be cool, chill... And uh, thankfully that defender didn't stop it. But thankfully it's even better placement by... Look at that. He's got so many players in the way. The keeper. How is he meant to do anything? For me, no. Just getting that shot off and finding it right in the side netting. Only a few minutes left to go. I am actually going to go defensive right now. I definitely want to get another goal. But at the same time, I know they're really going to go absolutely nutso punters. And I want to make sure that I've got plenty back to deal with it. That's not well cleared. Only as far as Bennett. Another crazy attempt. What is that? The only way I can explain this is if it's taken a deflection. The head of perfect. What is that? Okay, so he shoots it and... What? It goes through his body and he helps it on its way. I don't fucking understand what's happened here. What has happened there? How are they scoring these fucking wonder goals against me to stop me from scoring? One of these days it feels like I'm fuck... I'm having one of those days. Everything will go against... I, I just, I don't know what else, what, what, what can I do there? How can I, how can I fucking stop that? I didn't try to head it to fucking, well, we might get very lucky here, Taliso. No, apparently Taliso is much, much slower than Whitaker. I don't believe it. I don't know how. I have no idea how, but this is going to extra time. Norwich are really starting to pile it on right now. I can tell they're still desperate to try to get this other goal, but we're not going to fucking let them. Surely, at least I'm, I'm trying everything that I fucking can not to. See, see, seriously, look at this. Look at all the fucking space that they have and the little defenders that they have. Firmino, I'm going to try a low cross. How quick has he fucking been? Oh my god, a lot of my players are quite tired, but Bradley has started this game and he's still pacing it. That would be it. That would be it. Alright, let's watch it again for my own fucking torture. The deflection... It was going to be saved, I'm very confident, by Alisson. It wasn't too good a hit. The deflection goes to a fucking Norwich player who then hits it, who then gets saved, and then comes off the post right back to him and goes in. Every fucking goal that we've conceded. Come on, Henderson. Just keep running. All the way. Good slight tackle by Tete. It's a free kick! Oh my goodness me, here we, here we go. I think Milner's in the game too. Milner, are you going to be the man? Milner's going to be my man. I could have had Coutinho take this, but no, it's going to be Milner. All the goddamn day, Milner. Every goddamn day. You've got this one. Has he? It's over the bar. Oh, he does it all the time and he calls the whistle right then and there. Just to cap off one of the most oh, frustrating games ever. No way. I am honestly just genuinely convinced that this video game, it is a living thing. It has awareness. It has self-consciousness. It knows who I am, and it just dislikes me. It just fucking hates me. We are now out of the Capital One Cup. I said that I joked about it previously that I was going to tank it. And now, like I say, when you lose shit small cup games like that, sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise because you don't have to get all those extra fixtures. But I'm telling you what, I just wanted to win that game really badly because 
the fucking way that we dominated the first game and still lost it 2-1, the way that we were doing okay against Chelsea, and then the goal that we conceded to draw that 1-1, and then the two goals, I didn't think it could get much worse. And those two goals were incredible. Even the third one, that took a deflection off the hip to go to a fucking player that volleys it, hits the post, goes right back to him, and he puts it in up empty net. I just don't feel like... Th I just had one of those days. I just didn't get a thing from this. Absolute nothing. So now I'm going to advance to the next game against Spurs. I can't believe I'm ending this episode without a win, apart from the one simulator game. I just cannot believe it. It's fucking got me torn up. I just don't... Yeah. It's just... No. Like, no. I just... No, I can't believe it. Well, guys, it has not been my best day. I tried about as hard as I could, and I feel like I really got cheated out of some... Some serious points there, and even that last game. But either way, I am, um, yeah, I don't think I played my best, but I played okay, and apparently that's just not enough sometimes. But either way, uh, oh, oh well, we'll just move on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. My name is Master Bucks. Hopefully, a lot better in the next episode. Yeah, and hopefully, we get a lot of fucking shit go our way as well, because I really feel like. Everything was against me. One of those days where just everything felt against me. Leave in the comment section down below, guys. Am I overthinking or overhyping these goals? Are they just like sort of, yeah, unlucky goals? Or are they just fucking straight up bullshit goals like I think they are? But anyway, don't forget, 2025 likes on this video will get you another 2025 Karimo video. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Master Bucks and have a good one. Bye-bye.